how to create a WPF page and how to show it on the main window. So first of all, go to Solution Explorer, add a page. You can give a customized name like my page. So like a root element of a window, it will be showing as a page start node in node and inside these all the other namespaces and these are the properties of height and width of this page. Along with it, it will show by default a grid. So unlike a window, there will be no any background color. If you see, it's a straightforward with a transparent background. And if you if you just navigate to this window, it is having a white background, but this page will not be having any background because this is going to be navigated to the main window. So now we are going to design this page and then later we will show this page on the main window. So I'm going to design this page. So take this grid row definitions, add some rows here. So definition and uh, get some proportional height to these rows. Let's add two rows. Our first one will take absolute sizing. Okay, around 100. And into this row, one text block having a text of this is page design. So this is this is a page design we are going to show, and with this uh, alignment vertical center center alignment to the vertical for this text block, and you can also write one property on each page each line one property on each line. This is uh, horizontal uh, design also center. So and provide font size of the P to be visible for us on the front sides and uh, page, page we can make it bold as a kind of title. Okay, so this is what we have added. This is a page design and in this page design. This is in the row by default, it is getting into the grid dot row zero. So this is going to be zero row and so one one more stack panel which we are going to add into the grid dot row and this is the first row which is we are going to add this stack panel. In this stack panel, we will try to add a few things. Okay, margin, let's give the margin 20 from each side. And in the stack panel, what we are going to do, we are going to add Two controls, okay. That will make it orientation horizontal. Okay, and we'll add one text block again. So in this uh, stack panel, we'll add one text block again. So here we'll give name as a text block, and uh, this text block will be having height of e width okay width is already there managed width so margin will give 30 from each side on sides 30. Make 20 it's 20 font width will be semi bold okay so this is a text block we added into this stack panel and one text box we will add to provide the name text box if the p with 200 and this is how we are going to add this text box and text box so now this is the this is the what we created we'll give this some width to the 400 and height also 250 so this is the page design which we created now we want to show this on uh, main window or you need some details to it so this is the final page design what we created simply we created two rows in this existing grid and then text block added as a heading and the stack panel of orientation horizontal and this is the text box which we added as a name static text and this is a text box to a pro to, to make a provision for the user to enter some text here as a name or this is a sample what we created here now this complete page design we want to navigate on the main window so we'll build this one uh, this is the main window and the main window we have just a grid default so first of all we need to create a frame here 
Okay, so create a frame. So we can give the frame name here as ob object name. Frame one. Okay, and uh, for this frame to just make it visible, we'll give some margin from each side thirty. Okay, so the, on this frame, we are going to show our page. So to show page, first we need to pass a content that is the object of this my page to this frame content. So go to code behind. And here, first of all, create object of a my page. My page, my page XML. Okay, my page XML. And initialize this one. Page XML. Create object. And finally, frame one dot content equals to my page XML. What will happen this my page object we created here and this object we are passing as it is to this content property of a frame build this one and run. you can see this on main window we are able to successfully transfer our window to successfully transfer our uh, page on this window 